Hello, Miguel from Grumo here, and I want to showcase a glide template to book courts, like tennis courts, paddle courts, if you're in Europe, you know paddle is very popular, or pickleball courts, which I'm not such a fan of, but it's becoming very popular as well. Now, here is the app in desktop mode, and you can also see it in mobile mode. And it's pretty straightforward how it works. As a player, you would select a court. Let's say I want to book court number two. I click book, and then I'll be able to see all the available times for the current week, or I can go into the future and select a time. Let's say I want to select a time for tomorrow at 9 a.m. Or in this case, I can book up to two hours in this court. So 9 and 10, I get the total. And then I can click continue and then I can pay with Stripe. Now, this seems pretty straightforward, but there is a lot of logic behind the scenes to make sure you can only book times that are available. For that, the administrator can go into availability and can set the availability for any of the days of the week independently by selecting the weekday and then simply adding or removing available times and also block off entire days. Uh, let's say that there's a tournament and you wanna block from December 8th to 9th, you will go here, event, and then give it a title and select December 8th and December 9th. And then those two dates would be blocked. And then if we try to book the court, we can see that December 8th and 9th don't appear and therefore we cannot book it. So they've been blocked successfully. There are more booking restrictions that we can enable. If we click on edit, you'll be able to see that we can select the maximum of hours or slots that a player can book, the minimum hours before a booking can be done, the maximum weeks uh, that you can book in advance, and the maximum of bookings per person per week. In this case, the maximum, well, let's say this should be like something like two, right? Then we can also duplicate a court or delete a court. All right, let me just submit this. Now I'm going to try to book this court and it says that I can make more bookings this week because I already have a bunch of bookings. <laughs> I will have to increase the number of bookings per week in order to be able to do more bookings on that specific court. Now, as an administrator, you can create courts, you can edit courts, and then you have also access to a private dashboard where you can see all of the sales per month, and then you can iterate through the months. So now we're in December, and you can see how if there were more sales, You'll be able to see the number of bookings for that month and the number of total sales for that month as well. And then we have a list of the most recent bookings in reverse chronological order with the most recent on top. And this was the last booking and you can also cancel the booking from here as well. To handle payments, I'm using Stripe. And the way that works is when you go to a court and then you try to book it, let me see, uh, let's book uh, these two hours, continue. When you click pay with Stripe, that takes you to a custom payment link page. Here I'm going to enter a fake credit card information because I'm under test mode. And then I click pay. And then if we go back to the application, we'll be able to see how this is going to change from pending to paid. Now, the way this is set up is under my Stripe account, I've created several payment links corresponding to the amount of hours that the player has booked. So in this case, we have from one to four hours maximum. If you had more hours, then you would add more payment links. Now, every time a purchase is made, then under the developers tab, if we go to webhooks, we have a webhook that sends information to Zapier every time a purchase has been made. And then here I have a Zapier automation that is listening for the Stripe webhook when that purchase is successful. Then I am formatting the booking ID because you can pass the booking ID 
but if we go here and we go under data bookings, you can see that the booking ID in this case is the row ID. Some of them have a dot. Now the dot is not allowed by Stripe, it won't process it. So what I have to do is format this so Stripe can process it. And finally, I'm updating the bookings table inside the Glide app using a webhook by Zapier. It's a custom request. And then you can use your tables API. If we go here to the table and we show the API, then you'll be able to basically use this data in order to update the booking and change its setting from pending to paid. Let's do another booking. Let's pretend that we are logged in as Peter. Peter is going to book uh, paddle court number three. Uh, four tomorrow at 11, continue. And then he would pay with Stripe again. Let's enter a test credit card number. Click pay. And then we would see this updating to paid. Perfect. So there you go. I hope you like this template. You can get a copy of this template by going to grumo.com slash court app. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.